last minute this morning walking out the door and I grabbed my Billy Graham devotional and he's talking about the things that happened to him this week and how he reacted to those and how sometimes we can be that catalyst um, to, how, to a change in another person. We meet another person and we realize that what we say and what we do and how we react to that could be the difference in them and maybe make a change in them also. So one of the devotionals I saw this morning was about Paul. And um, in the Bible, it talks about that he was previously named Saul. And this talks about what his change and how his life changed so much in that one meeting with Christ. And um, in Acts 9.1, it says, Meanwhile, Saul was still breathing out murderous threats against the Lord's disciples. But all that changed when he met the risen Lord on the way to Damascus. From that moment on, the persecutor became the proclaimer, fearlessly taking the gospel throughout the Roman Empire. So what made him change? Well, first, he, he really believed the gospel. He believed that Jesus was who he said he was, and he believed that he went to the cross and died for him. So how could he remain silent in that? He, he knew it. He had to tell everybody. We have to be so excited about the fact that Christ went to the cross for us and nothing else can save us but that. And then the other reason he saw a big change was how he saw other people. And I think that's a challenge that I have in these days and we all have in these days with the political atmosphere that we have and some of the other things going on in our lives and in our world and how we can always look at the other person through God's eyes. How we can always see them through God's eyes and uh, really try to do that. I know that's a challenge I have sometimes, and as I'm trying to prepare for this election, I think about it. I think, okay, somebody's not happy, but I have to look at them through God's eyes and, and, and try to say something that uh, makes them realize that there is good in the world. Not necessarily change their mind, but that they see God all around them. So everything does change when we see people through God's eyes. The other thing that I did this week, Friday night, I was able to take a quick run up to Mankato, and my granddaughter was able to have her long-awaited, which should have been in May, her long-awaited confirmation, confirmation into the church and into uh, her adult time as a Christian. And as we were there, I... Uh, I realized how much that is important, how much is important that we are good examples for everyone around us and for the children that we are around. She's 17 years old, but she's still my granddaughter, and uh, I just want her to realize how that is the most important thing in her life is to have a relationship with Christ. I know they think the most important thing is, you know, school and what's going on at school or where they're going to school or just what's going on in the world but to help them understand that that's the most important thing in their life I just felt like that was um, a joy to be a part of so in first John 4 9 this is how God showed his love among us he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him so love isn't just a feeling it's expressed in action and I encouraged her to show others, you know, the love, to spread that love um, to others. So it's not a vague feeling and it's not a sentimental thing. It's a true love for others that God has and Christ has. And they showed it. God showed us. He put his love in action, sent his son to this world to walk with us and then die for us. So he sent it. He gave us that love. And... We hope that we don't doubt that. We don't doubt that love for his love for us because he did go and do that for us and poured it out to us. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your love for us, for your path and your direction and the opportunity to always find a change. We go down the wrong road, we can always come back. And you always welcome us with open arms, just as you did the prodigal son. 
always you are there. Always you are waiting, waiting, waiting for us. And Lord, as we walk with you, remind us to look at everyone around us through your eyes, that you love everyone equally, they are your children, and that we should respond in the same way so that they can see that love from you through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.